Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Resident Evil Village. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the Iron Horse Ball and how to solve the labyrinth associated with it in the factory. So in the factory, after you make it out of the grinder shaft, you will come into this room that has a chem fluid and a drawer, and then there's going to be this precarious looking minecart uh, that is blocking a passageway. This is easy enough to overlook because it doesn't seem like the minecart goes anywhere, and it kind of doesn't, you're just pushing it out of the way. Once you push it out of the way, you want to duck into the little ventilation shaft here, and then this is gonna come out into another little room, and this room has a big briefcase in it, along with some gunpowder, but in the briefcase is the ball mold, so you have to make the ball yourself. Once back at Duke's elevator, you want to take the elevator back down to level B4, and I will show you the route how to get back to the mold, because I got really confused in this place for a long time <laughs> until my second run. So take it down to B4, and then when you get out, you want to go through these double doors here, and you want to start walking along this dark pathway. I will warn you, there are several Soldot enemies for you to deal with at this point. Uh, after you come back down here, um, it, it's going to get pretty tricky. I don't recommend actually coming down here until you also get the key mold, which you should get on the way back here. But you want to do both of these at once, this way you really never have to walk through this hallway again. I was doing this on Hardcore uh, for my second run, so I sort of learned how to avoid several enemies, uh, at least to the best of my ability. So what I did here is I sort of aggroed that Soldat to come to this room. But then there's a second one that I left roaming around here. So now we can just sort of walk along through that little box and then turn left at the green light door. And then we're going to go downstairs. And then through here, we're going to navigate these little passageways. And then we're going to go through this door here. This is going to lead to the foundry room where we can insert the mold, but be careful in case you left any soldats alive. You will have to deal with this one. Um, there were a few in here that I had to deal with over time, but just go ahead and put the ball mold in here, and then you can either kill the soldat or just walk around the room. So once you have the ball molded, you want to head back to the labyrinth, which is on the same elevator exit, B4, just in front of Heisenberg's elevator. And then once you drop it in, you want to just guide it along this first path here. It's not possible to sort of bump off of this path, uh, but once you're ready, drop it down to the second level. You want to make sure the ball doesn't get swept by the bars, but I've never actually had that happen. On this level, you want to carefully guide it down the ramp and into this cogwheel, and then you're going to rotate and keep it tilted into the cogwheel, and then just as you get to this level here, you want to tilt it onto the ramp. Then we are going to hug this wall here. Careful of that drop. It is not a shortcut. And then this is the hardest section here. You want to wait for the little trolley to be aligned with the chute. However, it stays there for a second and then moves. So you want to tilt the maze as the trolley is coming back, and then it will drop right in. Then you want to keep the ball tilted in the trolley because this uh, pathway is actually hollow until the end. Okay, great. Then just tilt it in, and from here you're home free. I don't think you can lose at this point, but uh, just go ahead and drop it into this level and then guide it into the lit little doorway there. And then the maze is over. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Resident Evil Village, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Securing goods is more important than anything. A good deal, if I say so myself.